Welcome back, guys. How would you react if you're like our team's commander? Yeah. And we show up 13 hours after the emergency <laughs> assembly in position, uh, ready to actually do what we have to do. Uh, honestly, I think I would just uh, have you, you know, put at the firing squad, executed at this point. No, that's fair enough. You're cannon fodder and that's it. Yeah, no, it's, it's like, oh, it's crack of dawn, you know, five in the morning, emergency assembly. We gotta get together, people. Oh, you know, it's just a nice, cool little 7 p.m. now. Yeah, we're here. We're gonna roll yeah, out. Now we're bringing out the big guns. I guess the massive tank we had at the front wasn't the big guns way no, back when. It was a big shield. Oh. So, our rank, it is copper, right? <laughs> talking about colony ranks. I mean, we did win big yesterday. It'll only be a matter of time before we make iron. That'll be it. Uh... Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, uh -huh. looks like they're rolling out silver rank for this operation. Silver rank? What would they be doing here? Orders are orders. Can't complain about their help, though. Hmm. We're moving out. Wedge formation until point D. Don't fall behind. Do you know what wedge formation is? Uh, honestly, I don't know what anything is at this <laughs> point. Like, I'm not even... I thought we were just an unranked colony. No, I, no, I think everyone has a rank and it's just for bottom of a barrel. And honestly, I don't even know how you can... Like, how do we know for silver people? I guess they got told by Roald that... What? I'm, I'm oh. working a call. Okay, that's interesting. Hey, Noah, sorry to be a pain in the bum, but I was wondering if you'd mind doing me one more huge favor. Was that the guy who asked it us was, to fish? Oh yes, my God. he wants more fish. Sure, no problem at all. What's the trouble? This, this is why we're top rank. <laughs> it's just I happened to skim over everyone's Collectopedia cards earlier and... Well, looks like a bunch of people are still a bit behind on preparations for a big mission. If you happen on anything we could use while you're out and about, would you mind throwing it to them using the cards? Sure thing. I hear it loud and clear. When we find the materials, we just register them and collect the Peter cards, right? That's right. Same way as always. Sorry and thanks again. Imagine, like, if someone you called told you, Okay, so I'm gonna do this when it's, like, common knowledge. Yeah, no. I'd be a bit shook. I'd be right? like, uh, yo, Noah, have you been uh, working here? Rock? Yeah, like, what's going on, man? That Roald sure looks like, uh, sure like sticking his beak <laughs> in other people's business. Reminds you of anyone else we know, huh, Lance? Ha, huh, ban on. Still, at least there's rewards attached to it. I say we go for it. That's why everyone benefits. How very likely, Lance, to weigh benefits so carefully, like. Hey, he's a cost benefit kind of guy. What you say, Furbon? All right, all right. Let's get our heads back in the game and be on our way to uh, Felta Valley. And Mwamba doesn't say a thing because he knows he's about to die. Yeah, he, like, he read the script a bit too early, you know, and he's, like, <laughs> on the wrong page right now and he thinks he's already dead. He's just going through the motions. Yeah. Honestly, I have to say, I feel like Rald is just a terrible uh, companion. Like, he's making us be the worst subordinates ever. Oh, absolutely. But if he's commander or something, at least it kind of makes sense, right? Mate, but I don't think... Is he a commander? I, I don't think... He didn't appear at least to be a commander. Right? He kind of just looks like a normal soldier like the rest of us, right? Yeah. Okay, let's Dude, try lucky to... monsters? Yeah, let's find those. They give far better rewards. Alright. Okay. Some enemies are part of the ecology. If you kill them, I'm sorry, the ecology is ruined. These are some big mods. Okay, so did they say what's attention? Oh, do you not have to fight them? Here we go, guys. No, you don't have to, but All there's right. nothing that prevents you from doing it. I mean, you're you're letting the lucky monsters go away. You saw one? We saw quite a few. Yeah, I I don't know how you didn't notice them honestly, but I mean, you see two of them right now. You're right. Okay, okay. Well. Uh... You know what? Retreat! Okay. Okay, that's the plan. I think your team is still fighting. It's okay, it's okay. They're, they're going to trot along. And they now are we still want fighting. These. 
That's okay. Now we have this joy. See, they just all teleported right, right, us. Nice. Are we still technically against the other people? I'm not sure. This joy just isn't getting targeted that much now, is he? Yeah, no, I don't. I mean, are you changing your target? I am. Okay, right, there right. we go. We just had to bring him in line with the others. So let's. What do you think he's going to drop? Oh, uh, probably meat or something. Fur. I hope not. I mean, what do you think he's gonna drop? Like, I think he's gonna drop a sitch sword or at least a mace. Like, he's going to drop his tape. Oh, that'd be actually kind of cool. I really like games where like you get weapons that make sense with the enemy. You know what I mean? How often do these games come at on, though? Because, like, that's way harder to make a bunch of weapons that make sense. Fair enough, but I mean, like, for instance, okay, I, I guess it's quite different, but, like, Dark Souls and, all, like, all that franchise, you can easily get the weapon of the enemy because they actually use a weapon. That's a good point. But those games are, you know, on the rarer side. Fair enough. I mean, you also have Monster Hunter in which, like, you collect pieces of enemies, right, to, like, afterwards craft gear and including weapons yes which uh, kind of usually in my oh we're dead yes everyone okay. died okay. i guess this is what happens when you pitch a fight with way too many people yeah uh, what's up with you okay so death just brings you back to camp and that's it who's part it yeah well the bid mission's getting underway so i put into request an urgent supply drop but what do you know? Suddenly the wind's pitched up and the drops have been blown way off course. Oh, is that why you were looking out towards Skyview Falls? Hey, why don't we pitch it up then? It's right bang on our way. That doesn't sound like Lance at all. Yeah, no, it really doesn't. Seriously? Wow, it's my lucky day. Yeah, you have no clue how <laughs> lucky a day it is for you if Lance is offering to do this. You special forces folks really are the best. Well then, if you do manage to catch it, feel free to hold on to it. It was all stuff meant for, for the front lines anyhow. Okay, Pollock's are kind of garbage. He is. <laughs> Understood. I'm sure it'll come in useful. Thanks for looking out for us. Phew, that's one bullet off my batch. I wasn't looking forward to getting chewed out by Commander. That's your worry, is it? Jotane, just Jotane. Mind how you all go, alright? Yeah, I... I'm pretty sure the supply was not meant, you know, for just four people. I'd be surprised at least if it was, but... I mean, to be fair, once we get it, like, since we get to keep it, it's probably going to be terrible, right? It's going to be, like, a sword and one healing potion. Oh, absolutely. Okay, this one wants to fight. Like, he started the battle. I mean, it might be the one that we were fighting earlier. So he remembers we're not really good people. One sec, is this something to do? No, no it's just Uni who's dead. Okay, and everyone's dead. Now Lance is dead? Mamba didn't get the memo that he's the one who's supposed to die, huh? <laughs> no! Poor he's, guy. Uh, what do you mean, poor guy? Poor everyone else! Uh, true, true. Okay, do we just drop the difficulty? No. C why are we on hard? We're just going to avoid these pesky enemies. Alright, it looks like the big ones. I find that's kind of odd, right? Like, the big one, it says we're level 3, but we're clearly, like, way stronger. I think it's because you have different types of enemies, and that one was uh, unique instead of legendary. Fair but... enough, but I feel like they should still show the level to, like, be appropriate, you know what I mean? No, but at the same time, it's like you have the enemy, and I think every... Like, these small enemies are always the same level. I and then they show you, like, how rough it's going to be of a fight with that other thing. I guess, but I feel like the level should really be an indicator of if you can take it on or not, you know what I mean? No, I hear that, but at the same time as long as, like, we're still showcasing, like, with a blue by the level, and then you see the... Fair enough, but I mean, like, some of the bonus right now are level 4. Yeah, I I'm so, not sure. But... Like, might as well just... Okay, you know, it's like, okay, we show he's a big one. I feel like might as well still show that, you know, he's over-leveled. And not just like, oh, no, no, that's a level 3, but, like, he's stronger because he's big. No, but at the same time, then, you'd, like, you'd have to get rid, then, of the bit, like, that other system as well, right? Because then, if you say he's level, let's say, 10, because you're reflecting the fact that he's big. Yeah. Then, suddenly, it doesn't make sense if you say he's level 10. 
plus he has that blue thing which indicates he's a stronger than he yeah, should be fair enough but i feel like it's just kind of weird to have two systems to show the strength no i agree but at the same time like it's easier if it's just the level system but yeah. this still kind of works at least when you engage you know okay like this is a stronger enemy yeah i, I guess so but like i find it kind of odd that it's like okay so you have level threes and you have uber level threes you know like be careful of the uber ones yeah no i said exactly what you mean by that, what's that? let's ask him what's wrong lenny are you alone here noah i let down jando and the others tell me what happened my team was wiped out can't we relate damn yeah like honestly <laughs> we ran into rampaging monsters as well that's grave bonnet country and they attack in swarms. Yeah, there were so many that were just overwhelmed. My power frame was broken and the others defended me. We were so close to the colony. I'm sorry. Noah, I want to ask you to do something for me, as an officer. Wait, I think you already sent them off. Wasn't there three people up there? Play for my friends. It might be. On I think, no, that was just one of them. I don't there were three bodies, and you offset, like, you send them all together. That's a good point, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Alright. Farewell, Melody. I guess a lot of people died to the Bunhits in these uh, regions. Can you blame them? They're super strong. I mean, honestly, I... Imagine being in a world where you have to fight a bunch of mechs and all, and you still die to bunnies. I'd be mad. If I went down to a bunny, I'd be super mad. Well, I mean, it has to be common knowledge here that it's, you know, don't fight the bunnies. Oh, no, probably, but still. I wouldn't be happy about, you know, I'd rather die to the actual enemy then. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so I hate to say it. I don't think we can fight at all. No, no. All right, sorry, Ma sorry, guys. Oh, oh, okay, we just got sniped. Goodness gracious. Uh, so far, this is not going too well. Like, we, as soon as the game lets us go into the wilderness, all we go, do is fight bunnies, fight lobsters, and die. Die non-stop. Dying's the name of a game so far. I mean, I guess maybe we just want to... Uh, do one of these. Yeah, do... Well, do the quest, I guess, not fight. I think we want to... Um, yeah, just drop the difficulty real quick. Yes. If we can manage to even do that. Yeah. Okay. How right, do Amigos work in this game? We can probably beat the cool bunnets, right? I'm going to go on the limb and say avoid any enemy who has a modifier at all costs. Avoid any enemy who's not level 3 and alone. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, do you know what Amiibos do in this game? I have no clue. I feel like in most games, amiibos are kind of useless. It's just that blatant cash grab and that's it. Well, it feels like mainly it's to make people feel like, oh, you know, like you get an extra cool feature or something, you know what I mean? But like, the feature is kind of useless. No, I hear you. Which, in a way, I appreciate. Because like, it means you don't actually have to buy it to get like an actual feature that helps a game. No, that's a good point, but at the same time, it's not a good way to actually move units now, is it, Nintendo? Yeah, but I mean, I guess at the same time, like, the Amiibos are kind of just collectible figurines. That's a good point. Are they still basically out of all Amiibos no, everywhere? No, I, th I think, from what I know, they're actually pretty okay, like, stock-wise. I think, like, if you want one, you should be able to find it. Okay. Unless, I guess, it's, like, a limited edition. Oh, yeah, but that's different. That's no, like I mean, like, even, like, a stuff. current limited edition. No, but I mean, even that, we're creating Star City on purpose. The entire yeah. point is that's not everyone can get one. I don't know, usually limited edition, the entire point is buy fast. As in, like... Yeah, but they only create a certain amount of them. I'm not sure. I mean, definitely they don't, like, have infinite product, you know what I mean? Like, they don't have... They don't keep... But I feel like while it's in the time to do it, like, to buy, they should be just producing as much as people want. No, that goes usually a limited edition. They were like, okay, we're like creating X amount and that's it. Not and really. And existing I, until they get sold out. It, not really in today's day. Like for something, sure. But a lot of the times it's just like to create pressure time-wise. 
It's like, oh, you have a limited edition that's like only sold for a month. Okay, but it's like they have. I'm saying basically, like, for those things, they mention OT. Okay, like, it's another type of limited edition. If it's just usually limited edition. Yeah. And they don't say, like, for a time frame, it means they created a certain amount and that's it. Fair and enough. I'd be surprised if Nintendo said, like, we're creating this amiibo and we're selling it for a month. I don't know. I mean, they did that for a game. For what? For a game. Like, the Mario 3D All Stars or whatever it's called. For like, okay, it's sold for like a year and that's it. Okay, interesting. Which, honestly, I still don't know why they did it. Okay, okay, we've done it. We finally beat, we conquered him. I think we also learned a lot about how combat works. We have to go in the healing zone at all times. Yeah, as soon as it's up, we have to step into it. I think this is the first time she actually uses it. Like, not ever, but like in this, uh, like in these few combats, I think it's the first time we saw it. If so, that's very disappointing. Well, it's just like, I truly believe it's her ultimate ability, which would mean you had to fight for quite a long time for her to get it. No, that's fair, but I'm just saying, you know, we desperately need it to be... Yeah, healed more often. Okay, so how would we reach back there? I mean, we can't climb like in Breath of the Wild, so I guess we have to go the long way around the mountain. Hopefully, no, no. oh, oh, come no. on. No, he's not blue. He should be easy, right? Yeah, but I'm just afraid, because there's a bunch of enemies by him as well. So uh, if someone they're... else joins the fray... Yeah, but they're different races. We don't stick for each other, you know? Oh, that's how these monsters work? Yeah, they're racist. I mean, one of them is a bird. They probably eat the lobsters, right? Uh, I'm not sure. If it's a hot, sure. Yeah, if but it's... even then, like, this lobster is so big. Oh, I mean, hey, it feeds a family of four for a... F like a week at least. Fair enough. But how do they kill it? As a family. Damn. <laughs> they make uh, Dawn from... Uh... Fast and Furious? Yeah, they made him proud. Okay, this was way easier. You guys are just too I wouldn't say they're just too strong because, you Yeah, know... no, we, we saw have them uh, not be too strong quite a few times. What, what is, is this? That? Oh, it's a bird. Okay, okay, I think I understand to. how they managed to kill them, because the birds are humongous as well. They are. Do we want to go against this big beefy boy? Sure, why not? Okay. We did. Hey, hey, yeah, go against the lands. Like, come uh -huh. on, friend. I'm just really happy he's not flying, like, above us and stopping us from attacking him. Because <laughs> that would have been really annoying. Hmm... Just like this? Yeah, you decided to make him fly above you. I, I thought he was toppled so he was going to fall to the ground. How was I supposed to know? Who's fighting? Oh, another bird. You're absolutely right. The animals only stick out for one another. Yeah, no, it's they see the race. Okay, can we not take our sword out? Is that not a thing anymore? I think it should be at least. We're actually about to die because of this. <laughs> Just hide behind the mountain. That does nothing. And we fall got damage. Fall damage to death. He used the, the technique of dropping his prey. 